Today we're going to work on John Z. Um, we're going to be replacing a wheel stud. One of the studs snapped. So if you come over this way, you can see this dude is only riding on four studs. So this one right here, come back this way. Oh, get closer this way. This one is um, pretty much snapped off. So we're going to try to hammer this shit out and then install a new one. We'll see how that goes. Calvin's gonna be filming today. Adrian, I hate you, bro, you suck. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get this install going. So right now, John is just pretty much taking out these. Um, we only got four. So John is jacking up the car. So we get some ground clearance. That's good enough. Perfect. After jacking up the car and taking the wheel off, um, you got this to take care of which is going to be your brake uh, caliper and your brake caliper bracket so there's four bolts there's one here there's one down here and then there's two back here you can't really see but it's for this bracket that holds the uh, caliper so we're going to take that off um, we're going to pull the rotor off as well and then we're going to start hammering this through and th another thing that happened, um, the threads kind of got messed up on this one. So we're going to replace two studs today, not just this one. So we got these two caliper bolts off. It was with a uh, 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench. So basically what you want to do is rest this on the box or something to prop it up against just so there's not too much weight on the um brake line after removing the caliper and and setting it down on the box you can just peel these back these um brake pads um they just sit inside this these two grooves right here um and then we also got to take off the bracket which i said earlier and that one is a 7 8 socket these ones are pretty tight so you got to use a breaker bar to get them started. Um, so what we kind of did is we angled it downwards like this, and then John pulled from underneath the car, and then that got it loose. So now we got to take these off, and we'll be able to pull the rotor off right now as well, so we can expose the wheel hub. Kind of weird though, because Nissan uses metric and standard, so it's a 14 for the for these two, and then a 7 8 for this big ass one, or these two big ones right here. Almost off. Yeah, and these bolts have a washer on it as well, so just be mindful of that. So we got off the bracket. I like to put them back in place and thread a little bit just so we don't lose it. And so we know where it goes. Then we can take this off. There it is. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this into this open window so we can hammer this out. You have enough clearance behind um, this shield to where the stud won't won't touch. So we already moved this one a good amount. We, we probably got it to move like a millimeter, but the idea is to just hammer this. And 
hand will come out through the window. There's a damn. We'll see how this one is. Because this one's longer, I don't know if we're gonna have the same clearance as this one, but we might fit it into this groove right here, if possible. But that's how you take it off. My guy Lavender. Hey, he <laughs> got a movie set. He got some good, some good uh, equipment. So you gotta hit this boy up. He has a, uh, he has an Instagram. What's your Instagram again? Uh, it's my first and last name. First and last name. Yeah. What? what do you still do the SoCal Leaf I kind of stopped. I just do landscapes now. Okay. Hey. All right. D D K uh, Scapes. Yeah. D K Scapes. Hit this boy's Instagram. He has some good Hashtag photography. Matt, yeah. Yeah. Nat Geo, actually, Nat Geo. <laughs> look at this dude. He came in clutch with the lighting, bro. Look at that. Hey, move it out of the way. Look at that. Damn. That's a helpful. That's a helpful man right there, bro. Basically, the trick is we got a good amount of washers. These are pretty thick, so we can we can um, get away with just using three. We're gonna put this on the stud. Get your lug nut, and we're gonna seat it against these washers. So you wanna start it by hand, and then you're gonna get your impact. And then just impact it on. So as I'm impacting, this backside is gonna come this way and sit against the wheel hub. And then you can reverse it. And the final result is an installed wheel stud. Hey. Oh, wow. Let's fucking go. <laughs> God. Now we gotta get this one right here. So we're going to O'Reilly's. We're gonna pick up this next stud. Um, do the same procedure. We'll film that one as well. And then we'll be good to go. We can put the wheels back on and and uh, see how it is. All right, go ahead. All right, so now we're ready to put this rotor back on. This is replacing out. Yeah. All right, so we fit that on. Then we're gonna get this bracket and fit this through. So we're filming John's knee. This dude came in clutch with the lighting. Jeez. So right now, John is just tightening the brackets or the um i'm dumb dude the uh, brake caliper bracket onto the hub and we got the rotor on as well we're gonna clean the rotor though because it is a little smudgy nice so you got the bottom bolt bracket right now we're just going to compress the piston inside the caliper so that they can clear Yeah, just go until it stops. We got it done. Um, nah, you don't have to give me the lighting. That's all right. Look at this dude. Record him, damn. <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is some of the behind the scenes. Look, we got the camera set up. Oh, let me hit this out, bro. This dude right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also got, look, back on. Two of the two, two are really good. Two of the studs are my last back on. So it should be good to send it now. It's dirty as hell as you can see. Uh, uh, it's good. It's the brake dust though. All right, we're lit. Shout out to uh, ABC Garage. Shout out to Adrian. Even though he was at the gym, I had to film this. Well, Calvin had to film this. 
And yeah, we're good to go. See you guys at the track. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs>